Hi, my name is Jen, and I'm part of Roundhouse Theater's education team, and this is today's challenge for grades K through 3. At Roundhouse Theater, we teach that the telling of theatrical stories requires acting, movement, design, and playmaking. And today's challenge is all about set design. I'm going to tell you how to choose a picture out of a storybook and then create a set model for it. And then I'm going to challenge you to create your own set model. Let's see what kind of theater we can create. What is a set model? A set model is a smaller version of the real set, and it's usually made out of cardboard and glue. What is the purpose of a set model? Well, it gets built before the actual set gets built, and this gives all of the designers and the director an opportunity to see the set and where everything goes and make changes before any time and money is spent on the actual set. So this is the book that I am going to use and this is the picture that I found. This is a sugar plum tree and it's made entirely of candy and I can't wait to make it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look around and see if there are any shapes that I recognize. I see circles for the lollipops. There's more circles here for maybe cotton candy, triangles for ice cream cones, and the trunk of the tree could be a rectangle or maybe some sort of cylinder. Then I'm going to think about things that I have around the house that are these same shapes that maybe I could use them to make my set model with. But before I use anything, I'm going to check with a grown-up first. I'm also going to be careful about size, proportion, what size is everything in relation to everything else? Do you see this little girl? She is only this tall, which makes the tree look really big. But if the little girl was this tall, the tree would look smaller. So it's really important what size you make things and that everything's in proportion. I'd like to introduce my helper Rose. Rose is a kitten that I'm fostering for the Greenbelt Animal Shelter. And I'm so glad that Rose is here today because Rose is going to help me demonstrate proportion and scale. Aren't you Rose? You're a good helper. This is the stage I built to put my set model on. It's just a cardboard box with some fabric draped over it, but it looks like a stage. Now this stage is way too small for me to act on. It is not in proportion with me, it is not in scale, but it's a good size for our friend Rose here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build three different sets. Each set is gonna get smaller and smaller, and we're gonna watch as Rose gets bigger and bigger in proportion to the set. Are you ready, Rose? And just like that, Rose is in proportion again. Or maybe Rose is still big and I'm a giant. Right, Rose? Hey, thank you, Rose. You did a great job. Now, before we take a look at the set that I made from my book, why don't we take a quick look at the set models that Rose was acting on. That way maybe we'll get some more ideas about what we can build things out of. Right, Rose? Great idea? Great idea. Yeah. First, we'll take a look at the living room. The chairs are cans of cat food with cardboard taped to them to make the backs for the chairs. Base of the coffee table is another can. Top of the table is a book. 
plates are buttons, base is a thimble, window is cardboard, the curtains are scraps of fabric I taped to the window, and the backdrop I painted on a piece of paper and taped to the back of the model box. Next, the castle. Most of the set model is made from cans that I borrowed from the kitchen and wrapped in paper. I painted the paper first and then wrapped it around the cans. I made the big tower out of cardboard because it needed to have a hole cut in it. The flags are paper straws and scraps of fabric. The ground was a piece of cardboard that I painted, and everything was taped together. The set model is the camp. The mountains I painted cut out and taped to the back of the model box. The boulders are bricks. The sandy dirt at the back of the model box is a rolled up towel. And the bushes and trees are bundles of oregano that I cut from my garden. So I've looked around my house and this is what I could find. This is a paper towel roll which I have slid up the back. It's going to be the trunk of the tree. Now I want it to stand up but this is a little flimsy. So I found this can of cocoa powder, which is also the same shape. And I can wrap it around and ta-da, it stands up. It's gonna be a little chunkier than this tree, but that's okay. I also have some cardboard for the branches. This is a raisin box. Cereal boxes work really well too because they're easy to cut and they fold really well. For my lollipops, I'm going to use buttons that I have found in my button box. I think they're really pretty. And for the stems, I'm going to use toothpicks. For the leaves on the trees, I have paper that I have colored with a green crayon, and then I can cut those out and turn those into leaves. There's also ice cream cones on here. I'm going to use my cardboard again, and I'm going to make the cones, and then for the tops of the cones, I'm going to use balled up tissue paper. I think this is cotton candy, so I've actually found some cotton balls that I'm gonna pull apart to make my cotton candy. These maybe are gumdrops and they look kind of spongy to me. So I took a kitchen sponge and I cut it into shapes and these are gonna be my gumdrops. I think in here, there's a little candy cane. So I found some hair ties and I'm gonna cut them and bend them into candy canes and I'm probably gonna have to paint them red and white otherwise it's just gonna look like a hair tie. Speaking of painting, I have two colors of paint so that this will look like a candy cane and I can also use it on the candy canes that are in the tree. I have a roll of masking tape and I have a roll of clear tape. Those are my supplies. All right, let's see what kind of theater we can create. And here's the finished set model for the sugar plum tree. I hung a sky backdrop behind it just to fancy things up a little bit. But wait, we're missing something. Do you see this hidden in the tree? Where are we gonna find that? Oh, thank you, Rose. Now it's your turn. We challenge you to create your own set model. And if you like, have your grown up make a video or take a picture of your set model and send it to education at roundhousetheater.org. And make sure they follow us on social media because we'll be taking some of our favorite submissions and featuring them on Instagram and Facebook. And it could be you. If you like this video, give it a big two thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our Roundhouse YouTube channel for a new arts challenge every week. Have fun and see you next week.